Hi everyone. All of us have bad days once in a while, those days that nothing seems to be going right. And in the beginning, as you make your transition to educating your family at home, it can feel like this a lot of the time. Many days can feel like a bad day. So if you've experienced this, just know that you're not alone. We all go through it, especially at the beginning. So how do we stay positive when things are looking so bleak? The simple answer is to start by purposely putting things into perspective. First, remind yourself of why you decided to educate your family at home. What were the benefits you anticipated or the issues that doing this would resolve? Reminding yourself of your why is very helpful because it helps you to maintain perspective when things are getting difficult and helps you to maintain your focus and your motivation. It's also helpful to stop and focus for a minute on what's going well. So you may feel like nothing's going well, but if you really stop and think about it, you can usually find some wins every day or some progress that's being made. So take a minute to think about what is going well. Another thing that's very helpful is to just stop and think for a minute about what you're grateful for. So gratitude, expressing gratitude and focusing on it can really offset feelings of stress that we can have when we're having a bad day. So take a minute to focus on what you're grateful for. What are the special opportunities that this journey has afforded you? Has your child maybe begun to flourish in a particular area, maybe become more relaxed and happy, discovered a new interest, or had more time for some enjoyable activities, or maybe you've simply had some more time together as a family? Are you reconnecting to some stories or subjects that you remember loving as a child? So sometimes these points can pass by without recognition, but if you systematically notice them during the day and, and sort of be grateful for the opportunity that learning at home provides you, this can really help you get through the challenging days. If your student had a difficult day, remind him or her that, that every day is a fresh start and that even difficult skills and material will seem easier the next day. In fact, there's scientific proof of this. Our brains organize our learning overnight and keep working on difficult problems while we sleep. So it's actually true that things might seem a little easier the next day. And lastly, take a thoughtful look at what might be contributing to a bad day. So maybe materials or supplies were missing, or there was a scheduling conflict, or someone is tired, it doesn't feel 100%. So maybe we had a lot to do in a challenging area today, or maybe the school area was in disarray and we couldn't find things or, or felt out of sorts. So there, there are things that are out of our control, and then there are things that are in our control. So look at what's in your control, try to take control of that, take an honest look at what you, you can change and take control of, and then um, make some adjustments that might make things go more smoothly and happily tomorrow.